Hello, this is CG Animator, and today I'm going to show you how to model a simple wine glass in Blender. Really easy, really fun to do. So, before I get started, I'm going to just say, as I usually do, please comment and rate and keep subscribing and add me as a friend. If you like my videos, just subscribe. And that's it. Okay, so first go to front view, keep your cube, press tab to go into edit mode, press A to deselect all, and box select the bottom vertices. If you don't know how to box select, you just go where you want your cube to start or your box. Press B and drag it over until it's like a box. And that's it. Press E to extrude. I'm just going to say uh, real quick just what extruding is. I'm just going to say really easy. It's pretty much just duplicating vertices while it's still connected to the mesh. Okay. Now press S. Scale it down. This is going to be the, how thick the stem of our wine glass is. That's pretty good for me. E. Extrude the region. And you want to do this a couple times. About four or five times. One more time. And then once you get here, press S and make it about that big. Press G, Z, put it up a little. Right. Now box select the top vertices, press E, screw the region, right click so it'll snap back, and scale it down just a little bit. Press E again, region. And this hollows it out. Look, see? Yeah. Now, box select the whole top. S, scale it up a little bit. G, Z, grab it along the Z axis. That's what that means. Box select this right here. Oops, sorry. This whole thing. Drag it up. Okay. Drag it up to the middle. Okay, now go back to object mode. And if you look, it doesn't look too well. It'd be good for a gauntlet or something, but it doesn't look for a wine glass. Go to add modifier and subsurf. And as you see, it's already starting to take shape. Now, I want to make the bottom a little bigger, so I'm just going to press tab. Box select the bottom ones. Oops. A to deselect. That's pretty good. Yeah, that looks good. So press set smooth and then put the levels to one and put the render levels to three. And now we're gonna fix the camera. So it looks good. Right click it, press G. And if you click the middle mouse button or alt left click, you can use the trolley mode. And fix it so it's nice. That looks pretty good. Now we have to fix the lighting. Take the lamp, Shift D to duplicate, put it on the other side. Shift D and put it in front. Except the one in front, it's only going to be, it's only going to have 0.75 energy. Press this one so it has one in it, uh, one energy. Shift D. Put it inside the glass. It looks like it's going to be a lot of light, but it's not. View camera. Uh, that looks pretty good. Okay. So next thing you want to do is make the render settings faster. If you don't know how to do that. Just check out my other tutorial, Fast Render Settings, F12 to render, and that's it. You can change whatever you want, you know, make it look better, make it look like glass. I'm going to take turn off the specularity so I can get a, show you guys a little bit better. Uh, 
Ah, this one's going to put this one. This one down. Alright, let's try it. Yeah, that looks great. And, you know, you can do whatever you want. And that's just really easy. You don't even need a background image. And that's all there is to it. You know, I'm starting to like making these tutorials. It's pretty fun. And, you know, keep subscribing, add me as a friend, comment this video. Uh, rate it if you like it. Subscribe to me if you like my videos. And uh, I'm going to keep making videos. I'm going to try to put up at least one every two days for a while. And I'm going to make Photoshop tutorials and HTML tutorials. And that's really all there is to it. I mean, it's really easy. And thanks for watching. Yeah. Thanks.